Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Raven Maureen and I am back with my second installment for my DIY gift series and today we're going to be making these key fobs. So I will say that I have successfully sold these key fobs not only in my Etsy shop, my first one that I had back in 2018, but also at my local craft markets. So we're going to learn how to make this today and I'm offering a free pattern to do it. So this of course will be linked down below. You want to make sure that you print this to actual size. Um, that way you can get the dimensions for the key fob. And then I even have a little test square for you because I know that's important for us. We need to know these things, right? So again, I'm linking this free sewing pattern down below for you guys. Without further ado, let's get started. So here's some of the supplies that you'll need. You're gonna need at least a fat quarter of fabric, some interfacing, and of course the silver hardware. And I'll make sure to link this down below for you guys. And what you wanna do is you wanna take your pattern piece and cut one of fabric and one of interfacing. I'm also gonna link below the tool that you'll need to actually clamp down the hardware. So next you want to take this to your iron and press the interfacing to the fabric, just like this. Next, you want to fold your pattern piece in half. Just do a quick finger press. We don't want to press this. Um, and we just wanna create a middle crease. That way we know where we want to start to fold in this pattern piece. So you're gonna fold in once on the left side and once on the right side, hot dog style. Y'all remember that, right? <laughs> and you're going to press it so that both ends meet in the middle. And then we're gonna do one final fold over to enclose these raw edges. And you're going to give it one more press. And then what you're going to do is you're gonna take either your pins or your wonder clips and you're gonna pin this at each short edge. Back at the machine, you are going to do a top stitch length. I would probably do like a 3.0 between that and a 3.5. And you're gonna do a top stitching stitch, so probably about a quarter inch seam allowance away from the first edge. Don't forget to back stitch at the beginning and at the end here. And then you're going to literally just spin that pattern piece around the other way. And you're going to do a top stitch on the other side as well. Go ahead and snip away any loose threads and then you're going to fold this lanyard or key fob in half and you're going to do a simple basting stitch along the raw edges. Back at the cutting table, we are going to add the hardware to this key fob. And I'm gonna be very honest with you, this is probably the most hardest part just because it's a very like tedious step and you wanna make sure you get all of your thread snips and you also wanna make sure that your hardware doesn't look wonky on there because once it's on there, it's on there and there's really no going back, so. And once again, I will be linking this tool down below. I've had it for ages and it works really well for this. And so you wanna make sure that you kind of go slow with this step and you don't want to clamp down all at once. You simply just want to pinch on one side and then shift the weight of the pliers or the wrench or whatever you wanna call it, the tool, and shift it to the other side. So you're kind of like pressing down from one corner to the next, making sure that that metal hardwire is 
really just evenly on top and there's no edges sticking out and you're all finished let me know what you think all right you guys i hope that you enjoyed that tutorial and i hope that you make a ton of these for your friends and family or for a craft market and if you do please tag me i would love to see how they turned out all right you guys and if you're not following me already you can follow me at raven maureen on tiktok instagram and threads and you can subscribe to my channel right here on youtube see you next time bye